Hi, I am Kumar, currently working as Senior Data Engineer at Amazon. Let me introduce myself. I did Aerospace Engineering at IIT Bombay. I have total 6 years of work experience in various big data technologies. I will be your instructor for this course. Today, we will be understanding about necessity of Java's in today's market. We will start with uh, introduction to Java. In this, we will learn what is Java, brief history of Java and some basic components of Java. Then, we will learn why do we need to learn Java? Then we will we'll see what Java career and salaries, all those things. And then uh, how is and who is eligible to take this course. So let's see what is Java. Java is a programming language. So the way we understand each other is through language, right? Example, English, Hindi, Tamil, like that. So similarly, if, if we need a machine to understand us, we have programming language. And Java is one such programming language. Java is also called Vora which is write once and run anywhere. We will be discussing this in more detail soon. Let us now see brief history of Java. So Java was developed by James Gosling from Sun Microsystem. Initially, they have named it as Oak, but later they changed it to Java because Oak was already trademarked. Let's see what happened to Java over the years. In 1991, Sun Microsystem started the development of Java. They were trying to develop a language that is platform independent. 1995, official release of Java happened and Java was open sourced in 1996, 2006. Then Oracle believed that uh, Java is next big thing and they acquired Sun Microsystem and started owning Java. In 2014, Java was released after which Java started gaining popularity in all aspects. Currently, Java is at version 22 and in the past few years, Java has been releasing two versions every year. So this is a remarkable feat from Oracle. Now let's see some basic components of Java. So Java has ma three major components, JDK, JRE and JVM. Think of JDK as a complete toolkit that provides tools to run a, create and run a Java application. Next is JRE. JRE is Java Runtime Environment. Think of this as a runtime environment. So once you create your Java application, you can use this JRE to run your Java application. Next is Java Virtual Machine, which is JVM. Think of this as a machine that enables us to interact with computer and run, run your code. So these are the some basic definitions of JDK, JRE and JVM. Let's see in detail from the diagram in the right. So let's start with JDK. So JDK contains JRE and JVM and some other tools like Java compiler, debugger, jar, etc. So for example, if you have written a Java application, your Java compiler will take the Java application and convert it into compiled class files which will be used by JRE. So what JRE is, JRE contains JVM and some runtime libraries. So JRE will use that dot compiled class files and will convert into byte code. You can install JRE uh, separately. You don't need JDK to install JRE. So JRE is an independent component. Next is JVM. So uh, JVM will use this byte code to convert into machine language which machines understand and it will execute your code. So what Java developers have done, they have taken this JVM and for every operating system they have built JVM differently. So if you take your byte code, JVM will understand your byte code and translate, in ba translate it based on the operating system you are operating on. So this is this JVM, this design of JVM is what is making Java platform independent which is Vora we have seen already. So I will summarize this slide. So JDK is a complete toolkit. It contains JRE, JVM and all other tools. JRE is used for running your Java applications. So JRE contains uh, class loader, runtime libraries and JVM also. And JVM is the component that uh, takes your bytecode and converts into machine language. So we have seen some uh, technical definitions and uh, introduction to Java. Now let's See why do we need to learn Java? So first, because of its demand. So 
uh, java is widely used across many organization so if you see the right graph this is a survey for top programming languages java stands second so this shows how popular and how demanding it is next is it next it is easy to learn so java is very easy to learn its syntax is similar to c or c++ so which is taught in most of the engineering colleges next is its versatility so java is used in wide range of use cases like mobile app development full stack development big data machine learning all those use cases java is used next is cross platform support this is what we have seen platform independent thing so java can run on multiple operating system and even on mobile so the only difference from other languages uh, if if in java if you compile a code in mac you can run it on windows uh, without compiling it again but for c or c++ if you compile it on mac you cannot run it on windows you will have to compile again in windows to run it on windows so this is what makes java beautiful so you can create your java application anywhere and you can run your java application anywhere next is its next is salary so java developers are highly paid professionals in the industries yeah let's now see java career path so if you learn java let's say you have all this career path to choose from so java developer is obvious next is uh, android developer uh, so uh, most of the android apps are built on built on java next is web development so java is used in web development next is full stack full stack developer java is also used in full stack development and big data engineers use java for etl workloads and data scientists use java for machine learning workloads so these career paths are not exhaustive list so there are multiple other career paths you can choose when after you learn java but these are like some uh, important roles in the industries so once you uh, get good experience in each of this role then you can uh, promote to senior and then go then to a lead engineer so this is how java career path looks next is java salaries so in the past slide we have seen the roles you can take if you learn java right this is the start, starting salaries for each of these role so you can see that these salaries are quite uh, decent one next uh, if you become a java developer let's say what will be your day to day job role so you will be responsible for designing application so you will have to design java applications how a java application will be built all those things you will be designing next is development you will have to develop it so actually code the java application test it then deploy it and then if there are some bugs found in that application you will have to uh, address them or do some improvements in your code maybe it it, it was slightly slow you might have to uh, improve the performance of your code so all those things you will have to do so this is the life cycle of a java developer now let's see current job market for java so java is widely used in uh, all among almost all industries like uh, finance telecommunication healthcare etc the demand for java is increasing because of number of startups that have come up recently a number of tech uh, companies started using tech data all those things so this is increasing uh, demand for java developers next uh, uh can be built using java also so that's why java's demand is increasing uh, day by day next is java's vers versatility so if you learn java you can take multiple roles based on your interest so next is uh, so if you search in linkedin uh, java developer you will see approximately 5 to 6k jobs in india so this is the demand for java next you will see who is eligible to take this course so if someone is uh, has no programming experience and wants to start a career in programming they can take java as their start so it will be easy to learn and it is a foundational language uh, which every company uses next if someone wants to uh, transition from a non technical field maybe they were some marketing or sales but they want to do coding they have they are just starting to learn something they can take this course and it will help them a lot 
next college students or some gra recent graduates want to learn a language to start their career they can take this course so th these are some examples uh, any enthusiastic learner or anyone who is passionate about coding they can take this course to learn java and that will that will improve their skills that's all folks for today